Hello, you're welcome to a new series, Business Lessons from the Bible. The Bible is not just a religious book, it's a manual for life. Basic information before living earth is the most effective book we need on earth. All through this series, we'll be sharing tips and principles from the Bible that can help enhance our businesses. Stay through and you will be glad you did. Wow, you're welcome to another episode on our series, Business Lessons from the Bible. Today, we'll be dealing with managing clients' objections. And I'll be reading John 4 from verse 11 to 14. It says, Sir, the woman said, you don't even have a bucket and the well is deep. Where are you going to get this life-giving water? Our ancestor, Jacob, dug this well for us, and his family and animals got water from it. Are you greater than Jacob? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will get tasty again, but no one who drinks the water I give will ever be tasty again. The water I give is like a flowing fountain that gives eternal life. Did you notice something? She compared Jesus to Jacob, their ancestor. She talks about the depth of the well and Jesus' inability to take water from the well. But Jesus' response never dealt with those things. <laughs> so let's pick the lessons from there today and see how Jesus answered them. Because this was Jesus teaching us how to manage clients' objection in the course of marketing. Understand is that customer will always project their objections. The reason they are projecting their objections most of the time is not because they really don't want the product. Majority of the time, they are projecting their limiting beliefs. They are projecting their self-limiting excuses. In fact, most times, I'll put it this way. Customers try to project their excuses, even though they have value, they have deep need for what you're selling. But they just have this self-limiting belief that I, I'm not sure I can afford it. I don't really think I need it and all of that. But offer it for them for free and see. Then you know that they really need it. So most times they don't mean to chase you away. They are simply justifying their excuse faculty. So your goal is to help them overcome their self-doubt. Your goal is to help them overcome their self-doubt. Just know that they are allowing excuses to overcome their desires for your products. Then your work is to ensure that you feed their desires not their excuse. You feed their desire so that on their own, their desire begins to grow bigger than their excuses. Once you get it right this way, the customer on their own begins to take the decision to part with what they have to part with in exchange for your value. Let's look at these basic action steps. First, do not argue with them. Then second, focus on the intrinsic value of your product or service. Jesus demonstrated this. She compared Jesus to Jacob. Jesus knew that there was no way he was going to win the argument. She talked about the depth of the well and the fact that Jesus didn't have a bucket. Jesus ignored that. And Jesus talked about the fact that everybody who drinks this water you take it, you get tasty again. But anybody who drinks the water that I offer will never taste again. You see it? Focus on the feeling, focus on the value your product offers and not arguing with the customer. Arguments never convinces anybody. In fact, then engage them with questions to deepen their cost of not buying your products. Begin to ask questions like, you don't have this at the moment, no big deal. But what do you think you're losing by not having this product? Then the customer begins to be the one thinking and telling you about the losses for not having that product, you know. So as they begin to think, you are helping them deepen their desire and depress their excuses. Then feed their desire to outgrow 
their excuses. After that, offer them your product again and again. Just keep emphasizing what is possible when they have your product and your services. And I assure you, marketing becomes an automated thing for you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Let's do this again tomorrow. Bye-bye.